From New Zealand's indigenous Maori-inspired pavilion to France's light-themed structure, with six months to go, construction work for Expo 2020 is well underway. More than 190 country pavilions are being finalized and some are being unveiled. Among the latest is France, a $30 million investment that will showcase French innovation and technology. Other countries are spending similar amounts, an expensive investment as the world grapples with an economic downturn. I think uh, the investment uh, as regards to the results is not so uh, important because we are sure that at this specific period after the COVID-19 crisis, uh, we'll have the opportunity to do some networking, uh, to show our talents, our products, our services, our innovations. Expo, or World Fair, is one of the oldest events in the world. In its heyday, it brought us inventions like the sewing machine, the wireless telephone, and even ketchup. But is it still relevant today? Yes, because we have thought this pavilion as a, a sustainable one. And uh, it's, for us, um, a way to, to show what France is uh, able to, to do at its best. And it's the, uh, one of the objectives of the Expo, how all the countries can contribute to this uh, new, sustainable and fair world. Expo 2020 is a $7 billion bet by Dubai that the event will boost tourism and business interest. It's why New Zealand has invested more than $40 million in its pavilion. This, in a post-COVID world, will be a chance for New Zealand to reconnect with the world. We've done very well with some of our export markets, but now's a chance to make sure that we are entering new spaces and really lifting our profile. More than 25 million visitors were expected to attend Expo 2020, with those numbers potentially in doubt because of the global pandemic, Participating countries, like the French, remain hopeful that there will be plenty of opportunities to drive global business and trade. John Defterius, CNN, Dubai.